I had a bad dream and I want to share. Hi everyone, it's Miss Jenny. It's so good to see you. And it's me, Ruthie. You just shared that you had a bad dream. Yeah, and when I had my bad dream, you said that you sometimes have bad dreams too. That's true, Ruthie, that's true, I did. Having bad dreams mm -hmm, is something that most of us have in common. I wanted to talk about how I felt better after my dream. Oh, I love that, Ruthie. I really love that we're not gonna focus on the bad dream. Yeah, because that was scary. Yeah, we're gonna focus on feeling better. That sounds like a good idea. So I woke up and I was scared. Mm -hmm. and, and, and I called for you. That's true, you did. And you came and found me. I did. And you know, it's because I'm never far away from you. You asked me if I wanted to talk about it. That's true. But first, you just held me and comforted me and you pet my fur a little bit. Yeah, and that made me feel calm. Yeah, I, I could tell that your heart was beating really fast. Yeah, my heart was beating fast and I felt really hot. Mm-hmm. So first we tried to make your body comfortable, right? Yeah. So we took some deep breaths. Mm-hmm. Should we do it now? Sure. We breathed in through our nose and let it out through our mouth. That feels good even now. I know, it felt good to me too. Yeah. And then you were warm, you were hot. Yeah, hot, not warm. So we put a fan on. Yeah, and that cooled me off. Mm-hmm. My head still felt full of scary things though. Yeah, so what did we do next? You asked if I wanted to talk about it. And I said, no, I didn't want to talk about it. And that's fair, Ruthie. I don't like to talk about it when I have a bad dream too. Sometimes I don't even remember what my bad dream is. I just wake up and I'm scared. Oh yeah. I told you maybe I'd talk about it later. Yeah, and that's okay. It is? Yeah. When we have conversations like that, especially when it has to do with your feelings and honoring how you feel, mm -hmm, we do that when it feels good to you. Yeah. I love that. Me too, it's really important. So next, yeah, we worked on comforting you, right? Yeah. And you asked, what did you ask? I said, what do you need? What do I need? Did you say? Um, I needed my favorite unicorn stuffy. Yes, she protects me. Yes, sometimes having a stuffy, a lovey, or a stuffed animal, whatever you might call it, that feels really special and important, it, it can feel really comforting to have that around when you're trying to calm down. Yeah, I squeezed her really tight and felt better. Do you remember what happened then? We got, we got a drink of water. Yeah, water can be really healing for me. Me too. And then, and then, we put a nightlight on. Yeah. And we kept our doors open. Mm-hmm. And you laid with me. Mm-hmm. Until I fell asleep. That's right. But you also told me, mm -hmm, that you weren't gonna be there when I woke up in the bed. Like, you might be making breakfast or something and you were gonna go back to your bed. That's right, I did. I didn't want you to wake up and be expecting to see me still in your bed. So I said, I won't probably be here when you wake up, but you'll be close by always. That's right, Ruthie, I will always be close by. Yeah, that made me feel better. It did, yeah. Oh, I'm so glad, Ruthie, I'm really, really glad. It made me feel better too. It did. Doing these things with you mm -hmm, helped remind me that when I have a bad dream or even something that happens that doesn't feel good, mm -hmm, these are things, these are tools, I like to call them, that I can use to help me feel better in those situations, just like they helped you feel better. Yeah, and, and somebody might have different tools 
That's right, somebody might have different tools for feeling better or the same tools. That's right. Whatever tools work for you, mm -hmm. I'm glad they make you feel better. Well, friends, thank you for sharing this time with us. Thank you and sharing this space. Yeah, I love sharing time and space with all of my friends. Me too. Until next time, everyone. Bye.